So with this little adjustment that I made, it was surprising how much of a difference it made. All of a sudden I was playing faster and I wasn't getting tired, which is freaking me out. And I'll sort of explain it and then I'll demonstrate it. Usually when I pick, I take my pick and a lot of people think you're supposed to hold it parallel to the string, but I tilt it forward a little bit because that helps it roll off the string a little bit better, both directions. So if you have to do up and down picking, it's a really great way to cut through that string. Okay, if it was completely parallel, it could get stuck and it forces you to have to tilt the pick this way, which is kind of hard to do when you're going fast. You sort of want to keep it locked a lot. Especially if you watch guys like James Hetfield, you'll see that they really lock it in and they get a lot of speed because of that. But my down picking was suffering uh, over long periods of time, like I said, if I held my pick that way. So what I noticed is if I was playing a lot of downstrokes like this, I could keep up for a while. I do something like... Um, over time, I was like, okay, now I'm starting to feel it here. So I tried something kind of goofy, and I actually played like this in the very beginning when I started guitar, because I understood that uh, pick tilting concept, but I went the wrong way. I went this way. And the reason I eventually stopped doing this is because I saw guys like Marty Friedman playing like this a lot, and I thought it looked a little awkward, and it kind of forces you to hold your guitar higher. So I tried it this way sort of just as a joke, you know, like, oh, this is how I used to pick. And I tried to play Blitzkrieg by Metallica, the Metallica cover version of Blitzkrieg. And all of a sudden, I was just watching TV and going along and realizing that I was able to play through the verse, which I used to get tired halfway through. So if you guys know that song, I'll just play it kind of slow right now. It goes. All right, and so I was like, wow, that feels kind of easy. And I was wondering why that was the case. All I did was I took my pick and instead of tilting it forward like this, I tilt it back like this a little bit. I'm exaggerating right now, but back just a tiny bit so the edge of the pick was hitting the string. This direction instead of forward. So instead of being like this, I was now doing this. So I tested it. I started to play Master of Puppets. I did Creeping Death. I did some Megadeth songs. And my forearm kept going. Uh, it was, I would say, 25% more effective and efficient than when I played like this. So what I want to do is I'll put a click on right now. I have it set to 195 beats a minute. And I'm going to do part of Blitzkrieg and just show you that you can... Play like this, it looks a little bit odd, but it doesn't seem to hurt now. And I think I know why. When you pick like this, you feel more like you're pulling down, like that. When you're picking like this, it feels like you're pushing down. It's a different sensation. So when you're push, 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 it just doesn't work for me over a long period of time. So if I go like this, I feel like I'm just kind of pulling the pick down across the string, almost like I'm chopping at it a little bit. And it's using different areas of my forearm a little bit. So it's a little bit more here, like the bottom part. So when I pull, I just feel like I'm just tugging down. And it's a little bit easier to do for a long period of time versus this where the top part starts to feel funny. crazy so if truth be told when i was playing the verse before i changed the way i picked halfway through the verse i'd be like oh no i'm already losing steam and i'd be relieved when this part came this time i was like okay i don't have to look forward to getting to that next part to feel relief i could be doing this for a lot longer which is a good feeling so like i said i tried it with other songs <laughs> It's almost spooky how simple that felt. All right, so let me know how this is going for you. 
Once again, I'd be very curious. This is all just sort of a fun experiment right now. I'm in the experimental stages. But man, I just had to show you guys that as soon as possible. So maybe if you're struggling with keeping up on your downstrokes, all it takes is this little bit of a change in your hand position when you do them, when you do the downstrokes. And hopefully you see a huge difference like I did. Okay, let me know in the comments, everybody. We'll see you soon. Bye.